Welcome to Sienna. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and also welcome to Siena, Italy. We are currently in Siena, Italy, although I'm staying in Florence right now and if you haven't checked out my Florence vlog, make sure you do so, it's linked up here. We are currently in Siena, Italy, we just took a bus one hour from almost city center Florence to almost city center Siena. Turn any text into speech instantly using AI and a which stop I got off at but I asked the lady who was close to Porto Camilo and she said maybe so we got off we know that we're at least near the city center there's my bus Ottolina Toscana before we get into spending the day here in Siena you need to subscribe and I always just give you a moment of time to hit that subscribe button it's free to subscribe and like this video, so please do so. It really helps to make this channel going and to help keep me traveling. Thank you. Grazie mille. Hopefully I said that with a good accent. Now, getting to Siena. Before my brain gets going into the day, I need to describe to you how we actually got here, which was super chaotic. I'm really lucky to be staying with family friends who are from Florence and live here full time. And with his help last night, I was able to finally figure out how to get here. According to Google Maps, you need to take the 131 or 130R train, not train, bus. And I thought about just heading down to Porto Romano, which is close to where I was staying, where you can catch the 131 bus. But Google Maps was a little uh -uh about times and never gave any information about how to buy a ticket. Could not buy a bus ticket online, which surprised me because Siena is so close to Florence and I don't think I'm the only visitor to Siena who's actually staying in Florence. So what you can do is buy bus tickets from tobacco shops, but we went to one tobacco shop in Porto Romano. They didn't sell any. Luckily there was a second one. They did sell them. The lady on the phone last night said it would cost 1280 round trip. It costed 1680 euros round trip. And when I got on the bus this morning, no one ever checked my ticket. So that's 840 euros. Never redeemed, you could say. But friends, it's beautiful already here. I am going to hunt down a coffee shop because I need uno espresso, por favor. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get home or where the bus stops are, but I'm planning to spend about four or five hours here before taking a bus back into Florence. Let's go friends, I need a coffee. Pistachio cream inside too. We're gonna have a snack, use the washroom here, and then keep exploring. And that coffee shop is right behind me. She did have a toilet, but you need to be a customer because she gave me a key in order to use the bathroom, but it was nice and clean. So, success. Onward we go. One place I was recommended to go is Piazza Il Campo. So, let's go. Cool. 
first impressions of Sienna, I'm really enjoying it. Primarily because there's about two other tourists, except for the tour group ahead of me. So it's basically just been me and the businessmen walking the streets. And now as I come more city center, there they are. Now I'm with them all. But I love this early morning feeling of people like commuting to work, getting their coffee. And the coffee shop I went to, no one was speaking English, which tells me it's not the most touristy spot. So if you take the bus into town, I think getting off at Porta Campoli, so right down here, is the right move because then you're not surrounded by that. Step into Wix Studio, the platform for agencies and enterprises, and turn website layouts We have arrived at Piazza e Campo. I'm noticing already about Siena and especially this plaza is that the colors are not as rich and light as they are in Florence, which makes me think that Siena was maybe established before Florence because a lot of this is just straight brickwork. Layers and layers of bricks from all a long time ago. This morning, that espresso and croissant costed me two euros and 30 cents. The espresso and the croissant, and the espresso here is three euros. So it's just another. I repeat myself, just don't be in this like touristy area. Basically, if it seems like the place to eat, it is for tourists, but not for locals. So you kind of have to go around and be willing to be a little vulnerable, not speaking Italian. If you want to go inside the museums, it looks like it's about 14 to 15 euros. I'm gonna skip out on it. I'm only here for a few hours and I'd prefer to just explore the streets, but this courtyard is pretty dang cool. Also comment below if you like knowing the prices of things. I apologize I don't show you every museum, but your girl's gotta stick to a budget. But comment below if you like knowing at least oh, how much they cost so that you in future can know if you wanna go inside and can budget accordingly. Scooter party. We have reached the piazza which has the Duomo of Siena. Very similar to the Duomo of Florence in terms of color, we see this white marble-like material, stone, and also the green running through it, which is very similar the, to the Duomo. Fiorenze. This one has a little bit more detail on the outside though. Let me show you.
just need to say this well inside. This gives new meaning to somebody's watching you. I am not sure exactly who these are. A lot of the popes, bishops, but they are everywhere in the cathedral. All the way down. Sun is back outside and there's the Duomo. I just went inside the Duomo. It was five euros to do solo Duomo and the library, which is just a small room showing, showcasing some of the scriptures and um, books of the cathedral. They weren't Bibles, but like scripture books from the 15th century. I do suggest going in the cathedral for the five years. It might be on like the top five Duomos I've seen. That place is detailed, like incredible. Every square inch has a detail or a piece of artwork to explore and see. So I think it's worth, I think it's worth the five euros. It was a little bit crazy to enter and it was one of the only cathedrals I've been in where they've asked females particularly to cover their shoulders so they actually gave you like a cloth to uh to cover your shoulders with which I can appreciate but I can't see because it was so dark inside the Duomo and it's so light outside here it is just past 12 o'clock I think I'm gonna go just walk around a little bit more but also start to figure out how to take the bus home already that was about an hour of my time inside so I think it's worth it check it out Pretty cool. It's windy. Ciao for now, Duomo. We're saying goodbye to the Duomo. There's also the opera you can enter, but the ticket I bought was not valid for everything. I know I'm a tourist. Let's get this clear. I understand that I am a visitor to this town. I am one person. I maneuver quickly. I am, thank you, please and thank you. I am not a party of 40 or 50 people who just like budge their way through line because they're part of the tour group. Italy has been the worst for tour groups. And if you're someone who likes to do tour groups to travel, then you know, you, you do you. But they make me frustrated. It's just really hard to enjoy when there's like 40 kids or 40 adults that are just oblivious to their surroundings and self-awareness because they're listening to something in their ear. Okay, thanks for listening to my frustrations. Cause look, I'm just like one person nice and clear on the street. We are slowly starting to walk back towards where I think the bus stop is. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, and we're gonna try and find maybe a snack there instead of in the city center because as I showed you earlier, it was three euros for just an espresso versus 2.30 for my espresso and croissant. Viva! This is the kind of Sienna I like, where there's maybe one person behind me and in front of me, there's two people. So it definitely is a condensed tourist area and as long as you're not in that area, it's actually quite peaceful. Everything is brick of a variation and stonework. So it definitely has a more medieval and um, older feel to it of a, of a city, a little bit less picturesque than Luca. But it's pretty nice.
My dear friends, this ends us being in Siena. This was short and sweet. It's about four or five hours to complete all the tourist attractions. This is more I like it though. Here it's so gorgeous. I am I don't know where. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna keep this as a hidden gem. I'll give you a hint that it's a little bit outside of the city center and closer towards where the bus station is. So if you see a bus sign, it's past Piazza Independent Independence yeah. Independence Plaza. And this is the view. But if you have not subscribed while watching this video, please do. Because first of all, I want to become friends with you. You can also find me on Instagram at Anna underscore Duke, where I share a lot of more inside scoops of my day-to-day -day travels with my Instagram story and my posts. And I love engaging and meeting all of you. So please give me a follow and even send me a DM that you watch this video so we can become friends and talk about Sienna. Maybe you've been here or you're interested in joining. Either way, subscribe and like the video. Buy me a coffee so this girl can keep traveling and stay caffeinated. And we will catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.